on the theme of meaning making and yari guy and also ikigai, it was really a joy to see you reference the work of uh, Dr. Miho Kamiya in your paper. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So as a physician and someone who studied her, yeah, would you like to touch on her and her contribution to ikigai literature or perhaps yari guy? Yeah, thank you for asking, yes. You know, uh, Dr. Kamiya is a psychiatrist who explored uh, the concept of Ikigai in Japanese uh, context. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's interestingly <laughs> wrote this book not as a uh, academic paper, uh, but she said that she can explore uh, the concept of Ikigai without scientific thinking. Uh, I mean that uh, uh, there exist in our uh, daily lives and mm. uh, that's one thing I got attention so, and uh, that's why I chose the methodology of qualitative study uh, for my paper yes mm. that's one thing and another thing is uh, that y you know the the difference between Ikigai and Yarigai and mm. uh, Kamiya sensei uh, explore the concept of ikigai by uh, seeing a patient with uh, psychiatric problems uh, whereas my study is focusing on yarigai of doctors or healthcare professions and so that's another difference I found but the there is not many previous research papers or books uh, describing Ikigai or Yarigai in uh, English language or uh, can be understood for overseas researchers is the biggest reason why I quoted her work and by reading her book is, I got much respect uh, to her work and uh, that's by that experience I got a big motivation <laughs> to oh, write nice. on my paper yes. Yeah, I think she was a very inspiring woman and accomplished a lot. I, I like to think of her as the mother of Ikigai. Yes. So it's it's always nice to see her uh, quoted or referenced. Yeah. 